Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Joe White from Get Life Coaching, another edition of Live Free. For those who are actively in our seven day challenge, congratulations for keep on going. And uh, if you're not yet into it, it's a complimentary seven day program. Get Coach. It's our gift to you. Go to our website, getlifecoaching.com. You'll see the link. Click on it, sign up. You can begin right away on it. I decided to stand here today and share with you, I was kind of touched, um, this viral video of this homeless man in Colombia who has the most amazing dynamic voice ever. It's, it's unbelievable. If you haven't caught it, go to YouTube, look at it. It's one of the most watched, at like 4 million hits or something like that. And uh, he's a homeless man, and he fell in love with radio, and he started a career in radio, and hit some hard times and drugs and alcohol, and he says he has two years clean and sober. Well, today, just recently, actually I just saw a few minutes ago, the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers basketball team decided to give this guy not only a job, but a house to live in. And I was really touched. And then I kind of read down the page where people could leave comments. And, of course, you can imagine what you would read. You and people read that people would think the owner of the Cavaliers is an amazing guy. Some people would think he's just doing it for PR and it's going to backfire. Other people like, don't you know, why are you giving this guy a handout? All he's going to do is blow it again. Other people say, I can't believe this most amazing thing I've ever read. And it got me thinking, not so much about the reaction that we get, but about ourselves that how easy for us to become polarized in a position. In a position for what we believe in, what we're for, what we're against. And when we begin to adopt sides, we see things through that filter. Republicans see things through a Republican filter. And Democrats see it through a Democratic filter. <laughs> average Americans see it through the average American filters. And we all have our perspectives. And it's everything really seems real when you look through, through, look through it at your own through your own lens but I also believe that everything's a matter of perspective it doesn't matter what happens to you it doesn't necessarily mean how easy or hard dealing with an issue growth understanding moving forward everything is just a matter of perspective see if you're in a relationship and get your heart and your heart gets broken perspective will give you the ability to say you know what I gave this person my full heart and just because I wasn't right for them I'll find someone. And the fact that I was able to give him all my love and give him that, that full attention and presence, what that means is that when I find that person, I'm going to blow them over. See, that's perspective. When you're stuck in the moment, you don't have that perspective. You just have that perspective of being stuck in the moment. And we also have perspective of how life should be. We have these global beliefs, these global metaphors. And I think it's so easy for us to kind of begin to lose an understanding of what is really important. See, what is most important is not necessarily what you're against, but it's what you're for. See, anybody can be against things, but it takes courage to be for something. Anybody can be against what's going on, whether it's political, whether it's spiritual, whether it's relationship, whether it's what's in our own lives, our own work environment. But it takes a leader. And you know, that word gets thrown around so much these days. And to me, a leader is someone who doesn't stand in front of people and have their t-shirt on and says, I'm a leader. A leader is the person who does what's right when no one's looking. See, that's the mark of a true, true leader. Anybody can wear a title, but few can, can truly live it consistently in their lives. And our growth, our spiritual growth, comes in when we're able to stand up and separate ourselves from the noise, from the minutia of what's happening in life and begin to constantly choose what we're for. See, we can be for about making a difference. We all know how fast change occurs. It happens in the moment we decide that something has to change. But we can be for about making a difference. But what if he doesn't respond? What if he goes back to the way he was? It doesn't matter because we're doing what we're doing because it's who we are. Because it's what we believe in. Because we want to be about 
being for something. What if it's only a PR? Well, you know what? If it's only a PR stunt, then it's a great PR stunt because it's giving people something positive to talk about and changing someone's life or giving someone the, op the opportunity to change your life. So we have to truly define who we are by who we are want, how we want to define our lives. And that is by choosing to live our lives in about being for something, not just against it. Choosing the path less travel. Choosing the path that comes from in here. For being the person willing to step up and accept the criticism. To accept the challenge because sometimes in life it's a matter of what's doing what's right. Not what's convenient. Not what's easy. Anybody can be critical. Come on. Anybody can be. Anybody can find fault. They can find fault in anything I teach. And any other teacher out there. You can find fault in any religion or any political system. But to rise above and declare what you are for. Hmm. See, that's where it gets interesting. Because then we have the ability to take action. And by taking action for something for, not just wanting lip service, we're able to create change. And change occurs. I'm going to butcher this possibly, but Mother Teresa, you know, don't, you change people's lives. How do you change the world one person at a time? And I think maybe it was Gandhi, maybe it was Mother Teresa, just came to my head. But I'm sure you heard of it and you understand what it means. We, the small things add up. The butterfly effect, whatever you want to call it, those are things that matter the most. So my challenge for you is to go out and be for, not against. Go out and make a difference. Not just bitch about what's wrong. Go out and be a force of good, an agent of change. Not just a person who can describe what's broken or describe what's wrong. It takes no courage to do that, but it takes all the courage in the world to stand up for what you believe in and commit to what you believe is right. Until next time, I'm Joe White from Get Life Coaching. I wish you the very best. Bye-bye.